Hi everyone, Cheryl here. Um, I wanted to share with you a project that I completed for the Cutting Cafe. So um, for this week's challenge, we had um, a few files to work with um, for Valentine's Day. And uh, the file that I chose to use was the Valentine Mini Sentiment Backgrounds printable stamp set. I know that was a long term, but um, it's a really, really cute and fun file. So let me go ahead and get started so um, I can make sure that I cover everything. Um, so the paper stack that I use is this one here. This is a K and Company um, paper set or paper stack rather. And it's called KP Valentine. Okay. This is an older set. Um, I've had this set maybe for about two, maybe three years now. But the papers on it are really, really cute. I'll just show you guys those on the side really quick. Um, and the paper that I actually used is this one right here really really cute okay so let me go ahead and get started and share with you guys what I did so here is my project it's so cute I really really love it okay so um, the paper um, or should I say uh, the printable stamp set that I use is actually housed inside this box this is just to hold um, my actual project so you know it's part of my project but it's to hold um, uh, what I made so let me go ahead and cover this really quickly um, what I did was I fashioned a box to fit my cards because I made some three by three note cards okay so I made a box to hold them and this box is three and a half by three and a half all the way around okay so um, on all sides so you know on all uh, what is this this is four, six. So on all six sides um, is this dry embossed paper that's been inked. Really, really pretty. So I used the Cuddlebug folder, and I'll show you the folder in a minute. The Cuddlebug folder um, I got um, in a set. It was a love set, and I got this from HSN maybe about three, four years ago now. Um, so I got that there. So this is, you know, part of what it looks like. So what I did was I dry embossed some white paper, and then I took some cat's eye ink in the warm red and brushed over that um, to give it that look here and this is as I said before this is on all six sides of this box okay and then what I did on the front um, or should I say there's uh, black lace all the way around and I'll show you you know the materials and stuff that I used in a minute so the black lace goes all the way around as well as this uh, gray flat back pearl trim and then these glitter uh, pieces right here, I'm not sure. Um, I know I got these from Michaels, but I'm not sure if these are recollections or if these were something different. But I thought they were cute just to put along the sides. And these hearts here, this pink heart and this silver heart, both of those are recollections. And I got those um, from Michaels, obviously. This flower right here, this is a saw crafter's flower. And then um, what I did was I put some crystal stickles all around it so it would have a really nice pop and shine to coincide with the glittery uh, hearts here, okay? So when you open it up, there are my note cards, okay? So here we go. Isn't it so cute? They just turned out so adorable. I love them. Okay, so again, I use black cardstock as my base. And then here is, um, again, I dry embossed um, some white paper and brushed over with that red, the um, warm red from the Cat's Eye ink. And then the black lace. And if you guys can't tell, I fashioned my box after um, these cards because I wanted them to match, um, closely match anyway. <clears throat> and then here is the paper that I used from the paper stack. And then this right here is the printable stamp. And it just is February 14th. It's got some hearts in there. But this is a printable stamp um, from the Cutting Cafe. This right here is one, another one of those Recollections hearts. And then a ribbon slider and a flat back pearl from my stash. And then this right here is popped up on pop dots. Just because I wanted it to be raised up a little bit um, to give it that added depth. Okay. And then when you open it up, this is just some more um, white paper. And this has been inked in... Um, some Tim Holtz Distress Ink. I believe this is, yeah, this is Spun Sugar. And then what I did was I took one of my corner punches and punched some more of the paper from the collection. So this paper right here. 
um, and then the negative that popped out, which is the heart. I just glued that down because I wanted it to be something down at the bottom. So perfect, um, perfect amount of space for you to write a small note or whatever. And then you can just include this, you know, and whatever it is that you're giving out. So super, super cute. So um, this particular sheet from the printable stamp set came with eight of these um, backgrounds, these mini backgrounds. And um, they came in, I think, um, black ink and then also in red ink or pink ink, I think. And mine printed out in black and white just because it was the settings on my um, printer. But it actually worked out for me because then I didn't have to worry about using a different color paper um, for the background because I think the um, the red or the pink, whichever one it prints out in, would have blended way, way too much. So this actually worked out by printing out in black and white. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the different ones. There's this one right here, which is February 14th. Okay. Then there is get this the right way <laughs> this one says I love you and these are really really cute guys um, and this is another February 14th let's see this one says be mine and then this one says happy Valentine's Day so you get two of each one um, on this particular sheet and I believe there's different ones um, Again, this one just says, I love you. There's different ones um, with this printable stamp set. And it's really, really cute. Really, really fun to work with. And then here's this one right here. So I made a total of um, eight cards. And this box actually worked out perfect because it's, uh, again, as I said, it's three and a half by three and a half. And so they fit in there nicely. Um, I didn't make any envelopes because I figured with these, I'd be able to just include them in whatever little gift that I'm giving. And I can write my little note and be done with it and it'll work out fine. So thank you guys so much. Oh, I'm forgetting. <laughs> Let me show you what I used. Um, this right here, this is the punch that I used in order to put these in here. Okay, so this is the corner punch. And then for um, inking the edges, I used black soot. And then I also used fun sugar okay um, crystal stickles I know everybody has seen this but since I'm showing stuff I might as well show everything <laughs> I've already showed you guys this but this is the warm red and the cat's eye ink this is what the black lace looks like and this black lace I got from um, D from DK designs um, on YouTube um, I had ordered some stuff from her and she gave this to me as a rack so thank you so much. And then this is the um, this is the embossing folder. Give me one second. Let me find something to put up against here. Right, there you go. So you can see it a little better. But it's really, really cute. Okay. And that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please check Regina out. She has awesome, awesome files for you guys that you um, won't be disappointed. And then also don't forget to check out um, the Cutting Cafe's blog Wednesday afternoon, um, probably maybe about 4 or 5 o'clock. Um, check out the blog because there's going to be some inspiration from the design team. Um, you know, even though we all have the same files every week. These ladies are so awesome and there's a new team and they are really, really great as well. And, you know, everybody always comes up with something different. It's amazing to see, you know, how we each see the files that she gives us and what we create because everyone does something different and it is always amazing. So um, please check them out. You know, lots and lots and lots of inspiration for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.